Hello students, welcome to MJC Learning. I am Manju Dilip. Today I am going to start with 12th Standard Mathematics, Paper 1, First Chapter, Mathematical Logic, Part 10. We already discussed in the previous video about drawing construction of circuit, alternate arrangement of circuit with minimum number of switches, etc. So today we are following the same. So the topics are constructing switching circuits, interpretation of switching table and alternate arrangement for the circuit with minimum number of switches and draw the circuit etc. with more examples. The first one we are discussing about this question. Obtain the simple logical expression of the following. Draw the corresponding switching circuit of the question is here. Negation P and Q or negation P and negation Q or P and negation Q. Here you can see three statement patterns. The first one is inside the first bracket and second is here and third is here. So all are connected with disjunction symbol. And next you have to check inside these brackets the symbols are same or not. Here all the symbols in between these two statements here it is conjunction, here it is conjunction, again here it is conjunction and in between this junction. So either you can combine these two or you can combine these two. You have to check which statement patterns you can combine by checking like this any number, any uh, symbol negation p uh, statement uh, here it is negation p it is common in both of the statements so either you can combine first and second for this case or you can combine negation q is common in second and third so you can combine second statement pattern or third so here i am going to combine the second and the third so in the next step you can see negation p and q or inside the square bracket, I have written second statement pattern and the third statement pattern. So by associative law, I have done this. In the next step, negation P and Q as it is or inside the square bracket and both of these statements negation Q is common. So I have written negation Q outside and here the symbol is and so I have written over there and the remaining terms you have to put inside the bracket so according to the order i have taken this so inside the open bracket negation p or p this which is inside the open bracket and negation q is common in these two statements i have written that so by distributive law i have done this so you can expand this one and you can check is it correct or not so negation p and negation q or P and negation Q. So it's correct. So while solving you can check like this. So in the next step negation P and Q as it is or inside the bracket negation P or P is given. So by complement law you can write it as true and negation Q as it is. In the next step you can see true and negation Q is negation q by identity law in identity law we know that true and p any statement is the statement itself so here it is negation q remaining all terms are same next step here inside the bracket it is conjunction and outside it is disjunction so distributive law we can expand this one you have to check is it possible to expand and is it necessary or not here it is you can do q or negation q after solving you will get small value of this one so that is why i am expanding this one otherwise you have to stop it here suppose here negation p and q or r is given then you can't expand you can but it will become bigger compared to this one so there is no, no necessary to do that. Here I am expanding because I can change the second term. So negation P or negation Q and Q or negation Q. In this one 
as it is i can't change it anything and in the second one q or negation q it is by complement law you can change it so here i have done this step by using distributive law so in the next step you can see q or negation q is true so by complement law i have done this in the next step we will consider this as statement and true so by identity law statement and true is the statement itself so negation p or negation q is the answer for this by identity law now after that you can't change it you can't make it smaller so we are stopping here so the logic expression which is equivalent to the given question is negation p or negation q that means the new circuit has minimum number of switches that is two switches you can draw from this one so negation p is the switch s1 dash is closed and negation q is the switch s2 dash is closed and the corresponding switching circuit you can see here the simple circuit is like this there are two switches first one is s1 dash and or is given so the second is parallel to this one and lamp and battery is connected that's it next question simplify the same but here the question is uh, not in symbolic form it is in circuit form so you have to make it symbolic form first then you will do the same pattern so here there are six switches s1 s2 s1 dash s2 dash is given so we will write p the switch s1 is closed q the switch s2 is closed negation p the switch s1 dash is closed negation q the switch s2 dash is closed l the lamp l glows now you have to write the symbolic form of this one so the symbolic form of this one is p and negation q or ne negation p and q or negation p and negation q from this one you can see in the first and second one there is no common uh, statement so i am combining second and third here so inside the bracket i have written over here by associative law in the next step p and negation q or here negation p is common in both of these so negation p and inside the bracket q or negation q is written by distributive law and in the next one p and negation q or negation p and q or negation q is true by complement law p and negation q or negation p and true is negation p by identity law here again I have to check the symbols it is different conjunction disjunction so i am expanding this one because p or negation p i can change it to true so by distributive law i have expanded this In the next step i can make p or negation p is true and the second statement as it is and the next step again true and any statement is the statement itself by identity law now we have to stop it and this new switches are in this form and the simplified circuit is consisting two switches negation p and negation q by commutative law you can write it like this otherwise you can draw like this also but in order we can write negation p or negation q in better way so simplified alternate circuit is s1 dash is parallel to s2 dash if you are not writing this last step you will get like this negation q or negation p that also you can do so s2 dash is parallel to s1 dash that way also you can do it the next question check the following switching circuits are logically equivalent justify so the question is given here like this there are two circuits given and you have to check the circuit value is logically equivalent to this one so for that we have to write the symbolic form of the first and second then we have to check it is it equal or not 
So here, for the first circuit, symbolic form is S1, S2, S3 is given. So actually you have to write P, the switch S1 is closed, Q, the switch S2 is closed, and R, the switch S, S3 is closed, etc. After that, you have to write symbolic form P or Q and P or R. Here again, we have to check it. P is common in both of this one and the symbols inside the uh, statements are OR and in between it is AND. By distributive law, you can write it as P or Q and R. That's it. Now, we have to stop it. After that, you can't do anything. Now, we will write this one and check is it equivalent. For the second circuit, the symbolic form of second is P or inside the bracket q and r you don't need to do anything after that because this is the smallest form so comparing symbolic form of first one and second one both are equivalent so both the switches switching circuits are logically equivalent now some exercise questions are given to you there are two questions Obtain the simple logical expression of the following. Draw the corresponding switching circuit of the given statement pattern. And second is comparing the circuits and you have to check is it equivalent or not. You have to solve it. Now, we finished this chapter. Now, it's a quick revision for this chapter. We already studied all this. A declarative sentence which is either true or false but not both simultaneously is called a statement so there are connective symbolic form is this one for uh, conjunction and truth table is like this and negation also written so it's a combined table so you can go through it quickly and here it is tautology all the table all the truth table values in the last column is true then tautology and all the uh, values in the last column that is false then it is contradiction and if it is a combination of true and false then it is a contingency the symbol for all stands for universal quantifier the symbol there exists stands for existential quantifier and this is the Algebra of statements, you have to by heart it thoroughly, then only you can solve the questions without using truth table. You know, by using rules of logic, you have to apply all these laws properly, study it properly. And next is P implies Q is conditional, then converse, inverse, contrapositive. Converse is Q implies P, inverse is negation P implies negation Q, and contrapositive is. Negation Q implies negation P. Next is switching circuits are given. This is two switches in series way arranged. And in here it is switches which is arranged in parallel way. And input output table switching table is given. So P, Q, P and Q for this one. And P or Q for the second circuit. and the table is given in ones and zeros. That's it. Thank you.